This is a Sugar Daddy production series called Sugar Daddy. It's the first of the uh, first TV series of uh, th this very uh, promising production company uh, created by a, a very senior Wall Street guy, Rich Cooper. He's very famous on Wall Street. And now he's going to another arena, which is film and television. We have, a, we have a political problem already with the manager. This is typical of every night, but what the hell? Why should this night be any different than any other night? Now, Erica has told me something very interesting, that there's only <laughs> five people in New York like me. The biggest sugar daddy of all the sugar daddies. I, I think there's only like four or five like well-known ones in New York, but he's the best one there is. The big daddy of sugar daddies. <laughs> when I lived in the suburbs, it was like, Sitting there at a slow death, most people that live in prison were in prison less time than I was married, you know? So you ask me, why did I move into Manhattan with two suitcases? What do you think? You know? Tony, there are three things that a sugar daddy has to do. Think uh, Yiddish, dress British, and drink shots. Here we go, cheers. So Anna, so good to see you again. You got out of New Jersey, like you, you know, were supposed to get together last week. We're going to go to San Tropez. You, you can't imagine I know, what I have I planned for you. You know, one sugar daddy in New York is worth about 10 in New Jersey. I mean, like, let's get with the program, right? Good to see you. This is my girlfriend, Anna. This is Soho Grand, and we're with our famous McDaddy Sugar Daddy, the best of them all. Just for this event. Just for this event. You can't get emotionally attached. What's so out of here? Thank you so Jersey much. Special. Some nights you freeze. I don't get it. I mean, you got the jack, you got your suit on. Like, you're telling me during the day, you know, you're a white, you know, you're a suit guy. Right. Take me out at night, you know, get me into the limelight. I want to be like another sugar daddy. And here you are. We even went to Dale Carnegie last week. I took lessons in terms of being assertive, salesmanship, to try to become a sugar daddy. We spent $2,000 on a corporate basis. Now, you know, we're going to see tonight. We're going to see tonight. If, if tonight's episode, if you can succeed in putting all these things together. I want to be the next Sugar Daddy. I'm, I'm Yasmin Sugar Daddy right now. Okay. Yes, I come here from Russia with love. we got to go to Cipriani's now. That's the only suggestion that I have. Let's go. You know, any sugar daddy in oh. Manhattan, you gotta go to the right places. Woo! Woo! Chipriani! Yes. Chipriani! Chip, chip, chip. is gonna be amazing tonight. I gotta say, one thing about Vinny, he's a religious guy. I like to have him around me for his traits, his family values. Vinny, show the camera, like, the values that you have. Seriously. Oh, yeah. Take it off! Mother Mary, there we go! Yeah! <laughs> solar energy consultant. I went, I went from real estate to solar energy now. I'm all about the environment, and it's what God wants. You know, we're all polluting the earth. My favorite line, hey now, and it is what it is. Remember that. Women want to feel secure. There's no security in this country. And when they get up every morning, they want to feel secure with their man. That's what it's all about. People worry too much about what people's motives are. Money, Wall Street, this, that, fame, fortune, happiness, sex. If we all cared about each other, then there'll be no problem. You know, that's it. So now we're going to go to a place where people really care about each other. <laughs> Cipriani's. There's so many women that care about men up there, it's not funny. Where do you see what I mean? It doesn't hurt to have this car while you care about them, to take them to Cipriani's. So. But I love to go out in the city. I love to meet people. My definition of just basically meeting the right man, meeting the right guy, is kind of through trial and error. Um, a lot of them are immature. <laughs> Sorry guys. But otherwise, you can find the right guy, definitely. And they're out there. And it's very difficult. I mean, you gotta, you gotta be able to, you know, gotta be able to, to tell, you know, who you're really connecting with. And you gotta not make excuses. You gotta just, you know, you know, if something doesn't work out, that's it. You move on, you know? Time is money. <laughs> you take a 50-year-old guy, Chirpianis, Beautiful night in New York, whatever, you know, 40, 50, whatever, what's the difference, you know? And, uh, you know, a few bottles of champagne, 
And New York is the best city in the world. And you're going to see in our different episodes of the show why I say that.